moving. Show what someone would see if they FaceTimed you right now. Alright guys, here she is. It's a thing of beauty and I completely gapped that I was gonna do a cook with me. So we're gonna kind of do a quasi cook with me. And I'm just gonna tell you all the secret to my stuffing. And it's not really a big secret. But anyways, you seen me haul that apple cinnamon bread the last time. And I had apples and stuffing, right? So basically, years ago, I went online when I was cooking my very first Thanksgiving dinner and I found a stuffing recipe. The original calls for wild rice and sausage and apple and raisins. It was actually really good, but I didn't like all those things in it and neither did Rob or anyone else really. It was just too hoity-toity for us. So I modified it to fit our palates and basically what I do and I, and I totally use hacks. Like, I cheap right out, guys. So I take the basic stovetop turkey stuffing. I use that as a basis. Uh, I put it in a bowl dry. And then I break up some apple cinnamon bread or cinnamon raisin bread. Oftentimes, I add more raisins. But I couldn't find any more in the pantry. So I'm winging it here. Um, so I use the apple cinnamon raisin bread. I broke that up. I added a little bit of white bread just for good measure. I don't... I don't even measure it. I just eyeball it. So, like, basically I used the whole, no, all but, like, four or five slices of the apple cinnamon bread and two or three slices of the white bread. And then I chopped up some just regular, uh, I believe they're Macintosh apples. I used three of those, chopped them up into little cubes, mixed that in, and then I, like, mixed it. Usually I do either. I either mix with water or milk. Today I chose to use water and this is what it looks like. It turns out wonderfully moist. I just throw it in the oven. I don't like t stuffing my bird with this because I find it just makes my stuffing kind of like porridge. I don't know, too too mushy. Not my, not my thing. So I bake it at 350 for about uh, 25 minutes, half an hour. And it turns out fantastic. Sometimes when I kind of get real fancy, I put some apple slices on it in like the shape of a flower, but I'm not doing that because as far as I know, it's just us tomorrow. So there's the secret to my stuffing and follow me for more hacks. <laughs> uh, next, I'm going to be showing you guys <laughs> my hacked way of doing the sweet potato casserole because guess what, guys? I'm lazy today. Yeah. Tomorrow I'm going to focus on the bird and I'll show you all that when I get to that too. So you can come along with me tomorrow while I cook my turkey. But today we're going to have everything ready and ready to go so I can just shove it in the oven. And I'll show you guys what my Thanksgiving dinner looks like in the end. So for my next trick, <laughs> I baked my sweet potatoes in the microwave because I was lazy. Normally I wouldn't be doing that, but I did. And then I just scraped them out and I threw in a handful or two of marshmallows. So far, a good healthy couple tablespoons, I would say, of cinnamon and two capfuls of orange juice without the pulp. Normally, I would use orange, je orange zest, sorry, but I also don't have any oranges on hand, so we're winging it. And that's what, how I do that. Basically, then, I just put the sweet potatoes in the, this pan here that I greased. And then I top with more marshmallows. Now, you can sprinkle with a little bit of brown sugar or cinnamon, which I'm probably going to do. And then I'm going to bake it in the oven along with the stuffing for like half an hour. And then I'm going to let it cool and put it in my fridge and wait for tomorrow. Okay, here's the bird. Uh, so basically I just cut, roughly cut up some carrots and onion and put that in the bottom of my pan. And then I rubbed down the skin and under the skin with like literally generous heaps of butter. And then I used some thyme, some garlic. Um, what else did I use? Parsley, a little bit of paprika and poultry seasoning. And I rubbed that down 
salt and pepper, of course, and now this bird is going in the oven. Nothing too fancy, but it's a big one, like a lot bigger than I was expecting it to be. I think it's 15 pounds. So that'll go in the oven, and we're having some friends over for dinner tonight. So yay, at least it won't all be in vain. All right, we're still grooving in the kitchen, guys. I'm working hard to get the lumps out of my darn gravy, guys. Ugh. I think there's some like little pieces of turkey in it that won't hurt anything. Got my potatoes. I just got to mash them and whip them. And then I'm going to give you guys a sneak peek at the bird. The big bird. There's a sneak peek. Look at her. She's beautiful. I'll show it again once I have it all like on the table and whatever. And here we have our sides. They're just chilling, staying warm because... I'm ahead of the game, guys, and I'm pretty well done. Don't mind my dirty oven. Ew. Don't criticize me. Or do. Whatever. I got thick skin. 